the seven minute, 10 minute appointments. And, and I know my GPs are all, I mean, I respect, huge respect for all of them. I know how pressured they are, but, uh, but they strictly follow the guidelines. So these are the symptoms. So this is, this is the prescription for it, or this is the so-called magic pill for it. Um, so, I mean, that is the current system. So it's very difficult to change that, extremely difficult. Mm, it's, it's difficult to change it within the system. I think the, in the, system. the first step is recognizing that there's nothing that frustrates me more than working hard and having no beneficial outcome. Um, so I quite enjoy working hard, but I like to have a positive impact. So I think as your eyes open, first step is realizing, like with type one diabetes, which you'll have far more experience with than me, but you can't just, you, 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 you are the most active person with that, within that setting. It's not a short appointment with a doctor who then says, have more intervention. It, it just, it just doesn't work. And, and as you well know, the, the inputs, what you do with your life makes an enormous difference. But um, even with type one diabetes, I have many patients that, that um, I'm meeting, which I've never really had a discussion around what carbohydrate is unbelievable they don't realize it turns into glucose which seems so basic like starch turns into which seems so incredibly basic but that that basic information just isn't there for them um, and as a result this reflex action of let's increase your insulin dose or or um, is, is the standard approach um so a model i kind of emerged for me over the last sort of five years i guess of how i approach this is a, it's a four area model so it starts with your needs and goals like what, what's the problem you have and what do you want to solve and where do you want to get to? What's your goals? Then a bit of a personal assessment. So that's a physiological assessment. So what's happening to your body, but also an assessment of, of, of you and your, your, your life, everything from what you enjoy eating to budgets to physical activity you enjoy doing. Are you, do you like learning about the background of a condition or just like being told what, what the best options might be? And then the third area is looking at preferences. Um, for example, around nutrition, if somebody is a vegan, there's no point talking to them about a carnivore diet. Uh, equally, if somebody's a carnivore, there's no point talking to them about a vegan diet. And then you move on to options, because there's always many, many, many options. There's never a one size fits all. And then making choices. And then the fourth quarter is really supporting the journey, um, which again, from the standard medical intervention model is completely missing. Um, but how do you support the journey? How do you measure success that what's going on how do you how do you know it's heading in the right direction or not and what do you do when it when it isn't um which is why things like the continuous glucose monitor is so incredible um alongside use like food diaries and uh, with patients we might set out on a journey i never promise anything's going to be right for people so we'll learn there's no pass or fail there's no good or bad um but we'll we'll learn and and if as long as we're heading towards the goal um then 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 it's the right it's the right solution.